Hey guys, how's it going? So, uh, it, uh, it happened again. Another trespasser. But, uh, I managed to catch these. I, uh, I'm still working on the, the 1586. I worked on it most of today. I got a little bit, a little ways, but like, again, you're not going to write home about it because, uh, again, it's just a lot of running back and forth trying to figure out what kind of tools I needed and, and, uh, yeah, so it's working on the tractor. I heard this, uh, Polaris Ranger coming. Um, didn't think nothing of it. I figured, well, it came by earlier and then they went to North Dakota, it looked like. I thought it was a different machine, but now since I'm thinking about it, I think it was them. They took the dike, obviously, and they went to North Dakota. Just out there. From what they say, they were out just out for a cruise. But, uh, they, uh, came from quite a ways home. Uh, apparently they live in that town where my bank is at, somewhere around in that area. But they cruised all the way up here to my town in their ranger now their ranger is street legal but it's not street legal like on the highways obviously so they took a bunch of back roads and whatever to get here which whatever i wouldn't care if they were legal on the road too you know i don't have a problem with it so supposedly from what they say is that they um well they drove all the way up here in their ranger so just off for a cruise but uh they actually came down in here into my junk pile um now i didn't catch them down here um because i wasn't really thinking wasn't really thinking all too well and uh i i walked up here and i walked up along the dike there just to see maybe i, I could hear them and uh Sure enough, you could. And then uh, it's like, well, probably should uh, get on, get with the, go get the Tahoe and then come down here. It's like, well, uh, by the time I even got back down here, or by the time I even got to the Tahoe, they were already, um, they were already coming back. But. If you've seen where they, uh, uh, where they climbed the dike there, just in the earlier half of this video, um, they went up and they went all the way around town. So I had to follow them. I didn't really care if they saw me or not anyway, but, um, so I followed them. I was going to see, well, where are they going to go? And, uh, sure as shit, they went all the way to the end of town. And uh, I was like, well, as I know that there's only like maybe one more road that they can go that would take them south, that would take them back out of town. That was, I guess, apparently the way they came in, which, I mean, at the time I didn't know that, but they uh, blew right past it and they kept going. They kept taking, you know, the dike. And uh, I'm sure as shit, they... I was on top of the dike. I had the dike blocked off because I wasn't going to let them buy. And that was out of word. And uh, <clears throat> they stopped and I said, hey, you know that you were trespassing here. And then what the excuse was, uh, I was just trying to see where they went. Uh, looks like they must have went pretty far in here. I don't know. But she said it was actually two women now i didn't know this at first you gotta remember i don't know who these people are i figured ah, it's probably a couple of kids or it's a couple you know grown men adults you know but usually when people like that you know like they knew that they got caught they were uh well usually a lot of the times they try to run which they didn't make it very far because i uh I blocked them off 
and told them. Well, how I knew they were down in the field, obviously, because one, I could hear them coming back. They jumped off the bridge and then took the dike south. So I said, okay, well, they're going to drive past the farm, whatever, do what they would normally do. But then all of a sudden, I heard them slow down, way down. And then I guess they saw my trail, which I guess they thought it was a, well, I, I don't know. There was, I guess, apparently a lot of things going through their mind at the time, but they, they thought it was a public area, a public trail, which it was not because there's no trespassing sign there. But she said that the reason why they... <laughs> They blew through my stop or my no trespassing sign and came down here was because they were apparently gossiping and they were looking at each other at the same time when they, you know, were making that turn to come down here. Now, if there's any truth to this, I don't know. So, but yeah, it looks like they came way down here. Um, this is all fresh push over here um but yeah so they ask it, it was kind of interesting though um it looks like they were going to try to go up here ouch freaking mosquitoes it looks like they were going to maybe try to go up here but they can't it's still blocked off and, uh, well, I'm not cleaning any of this until the hay's been cut and baled. But they came here, and there's another set of tracks over here somewhere. So they either came in and turned around and went back out. But they, uh, apparently from them, because it was two women, they said that they uh, had kind of like an oh shit moment. Like they finally realized that this was possibly private property considering this has been mowed and they're like oh like we figured it was you know private property because you saw the, the grass that's been mowed and you know, it's all trimmed and everything and it looked really nice down here well i tell you what it would look a hell of a lot nicer if we could get all these damn trees out of here but i can't so right right now not until we get the hay cut and baled so, I'm just ripping my damn shirt more and more. So, and then she told me who she was and yada, 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 and yada, yada, yada. And, well, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I was kind of like, how did, like, well, she's like, well, I don't know. She, she said kind of something like she didn't see it or whatever, like, you know, the sign. And I'm like... But it's yellow. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I've heard every every excuse in the damn book. You know, I mean... I'm not exactly that retarded, okay? I know that everybody around this area, even where my bank is at in that town, everybody knows this is our land. So... But... But yeah, so and then we were just chit chatting and whatever, you know. But I, uh, I don't know. I just feel like I mean, I just I don't know. I mean, like I said, I've heard every excuse in the book. Um, but there's a damn bush growing here. I'm gonna have to get rid of that. Fuck these mosquitoes are hanging on and I don't feel them and then they start sucking and then they got all my damn blood. So but I mean I understand that when you know you're bullshitting with each other you're not gonna notice certain things. Obviously this kind of should have been a dead giveaway. This this is like a turnaround point. It's not supposed to be here but it is because my uncle got rid of that tree that was right you know was blocking the trail here. So we can at least get into the junk pile. This is was his turnaround point. So, but and then another thing that should have been a dead giveaway was how active the trail was. That might have been what tricked them to thinking, you know, that this is a public trail considered as heavily used. 
but you kind of should think too that these tracks are wider than a ranger or a four-wheeler these are like pickup you know or in this case my tahoe they're wider than that so but i was kind of blown away you know to see that it was a couple of older women yet um which was kind of they weren't like old you know like granny age but they were you know i suppose in their 50s or whatever i don't know but ah oh, these freaking mosquitoes but yeah i was just kind of i was just kind of blown away by that because uh um well Well, I mean, I, I, first thing I think the stupidest thing I've seen yet was quite a few years ago, I caught a, I guess you could say like a father-son, uh, you know, down here. And I have that on video. Um, I don't want any more freaking mosquitoes coming in here. So, I've, uh, Obviously, that's on video, but it looked like a father son, you know. And I'm like, you just you're you're teaching your kid, you know, bad manners and how to disrespect other people's property. Like, and I think he said he was from North Dakota. I think he said he was from that town. I don't remember now, but well, if you live in that town, you know us. You know my land. So, but, you know, maybe the women didn't know the land, but I'm sorry. I know, I, I like, I understand that you want to chit chat and you want to talk shit and, you know, and, and gossip about stuff, you know, girly stuff, but you got to pay attention. Because, you know, yeah, this may look like a public area, but it's not, it's private. And, and the fact that you blew right through my yellow sign it's kind of ridiculous. You know, and like I said, we were kind of bullshitting too, and she said that, that you're probably better off having multiple signs in just one area. So instead of having one, you know, by the ramp, she said to maybe put up two, you know, or whatever. Well, I think the honest way, you know, like the best way to do it is just to put up a freaking gate. Um... At least that part, because that'll show that, hey, this trail is private. It's not going to stop the assholes, but, you know, you do occasionally, you know, which is very rare. You know, you'll get an honest person and they'll actually obey through signs and gates and stuff. You know, that, I mean, my signs are up there for a reason. It's to say, hey, this is private property. You know, I don't want you on it. You know. So, and it, so this is technically now the second time this year now I've had a trespasser. We're going back up. <sighs> but. I don't know. Unfortunately, they were women. So I couldn't rip their throat out. Even though I wanted to. But they're women. And I'm not going to beat on women. Because that's just not right. So. But. If you were a guy. Yeah. I would have ripped your throat out. And I would have taken it home. And hung it on my wall as a trophy. So, but she's apologizing and whatever, you know, like, well, it wasn't, we, it wasn't here, you know, where I, I caught her. It was at the end of town. Well, I had to, you know, at some point chit chat with them and I wanted to do it here on the land, but stupid me didn't think to just get in the blazer and go. I decided I'd walk on top of the dike and walk to the corner. By the time I got to the corner, they were already coming freaking back out out of the the junk pile which I don't know why I would I was thinking that way forward because that's usually like the first thing I'll do is I'll hop on my machine and, and run down here so and then of course the second biggest fucking thing I forgot to grab was my goddamn phone so I couldn't get any of it on camera um so because I told her too is like I don't you know I don't care who you are I don't care if you're a man woman you know whatever um if you're caught on my land you will get videotaped and yada yada yeah and i told her that it's like you know it's because i have to have this stuff for evidence you know to prove things so 
but what are you gonna do? You know, so damn mosquitoes. But I don't know, it's just kind of whatever at this point. Um, but I mean, she ran over a little bit of my hay here, which is kind of what, you know, well, when I was walking back, I saw that and I was like, oh, they're gonna, they probably saw me and now they're gonna, they're gonna run. But the thing is, is that, yeah, they climbed the side of the dike and they, they smushed over a small amount of our hay. It's just the fact that they weren't running. Like they weren't going 90 miles an hour. They were just cruising along at a comfortable s speed. You know, just, they're out for a cruise. So I was like, well, if they're not running, then they're gonna be easy to catch. I mean, I just, I don't know. It's mind blowing that how you could not see my sign. So I don't know what else. I mean, besides putting up another sign, but the thing is too, is I can't put up too many signs because I have to keep, you know, I have to keep that gap there um, for, the, you know, the hay bind because that's a 16 foot wide more. And that's got to be able to fit through here. So I'd have to measure out 16 feet or at least 17 feet. But that's going to be kind of a nuisance too when they have, to, you know, when they have to come down here and they have to, you know, always look behind them when they're coming down here. See, at least here, all they, they all they have to do is just ride one side of the ramp and then they're fine. They don't have to, you know, they just don't have to be, you know, looking around. So, but <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know what else I can really do. Um, I mean, I guess I probably could move this sign over like another foot. That's really all about, about what I can do before I would probably start getting in the way for the guy that mows the dike. Because I gotta, I have to keep all this stuff in mind, you know. I just can't do whatever the hell I want. I gotta make sure that it's, you know, reasonable for them too. So that's why, you know... I just, I, I have to figure out how they're mowing. I got to figure out, you know, what kind of signs I'm going to put here and yada, yada, yada. And, and you know, you, know, I got, you just can't put them up. So, so <clears throat> I thought, well, I could put a gate here. But what's that going to really do? You know, like, well, if they hit the gate, well, then, <laughs> then they're definitely trespassing and they also damage private property. But, I mean, just for the one sign that I have here, I got one sign on each ramp. There's a ramp here, and there's one by the bridge, and then I got another one on the south side of our property, which there is no ramp there, but that's the end of our property line. And then I have one down by the old pond over there of the ex-mayors on our side of the property, but on that part. So it's just like, what, what do you do? You know, I, I mean, do I have to put strobing lights, flashy LED lights on top of these fucking poles, you know, to get your attention? Like, I mean, if they're extremely bright and they're LEDs, I, you can spot them even during the day. You know, it's like, do I have to get put those on here just for you to, you know, maybe it would grab your attention or would grab the passenger's attention, you know. The other thing I thought of doing, and we did do this before, um, <clears throat> I guess before I had the redneck gate down there, it's still up in the garage right now. It needs to be worked on as well. I haven't put that up for a couple of years because I haven't really needed to. Um, but I guess if we get one more um, trespasser this year, then it's going to have to go back up. But then, you know, that might not be until fall time. And then once fall time comes, then it's not going to really matter. But what we did before we had that redneck gate, uh, we, I just had some yellow rope and then I had my sign hanging on that, which worked out pretty good. Um, but it's just the problem is that the rope would, would fade and it would get weather cracked and stuff, you know. So you'd have to use something... <clears throat> um, something that's a little bit more better for weather conditions so 
and then maybe just hang it right here across. Um, there's a guy on the North Dakota side. Um, there's a deer stand on top of the dike. He's on the North, North Dakota side there. He owns some land on that gravel road where when you just get off the bridge and you go right. That's I've been down that road with the 15 and, and the rake. I raked some hay down there. But that one guy owns some property and he's got a big rope that goes across his whole entire driveway thing there and he's got two signs hanging on that rope so he doesn't want trespassers either so that is another option but you know the thing is is that's going to be inconvenient for us for when we want to come down here and then i'd have to tell the young guys like well just be aware you know hey i got a rope going across there because i just had too many people going down the ramp and i have to stop them somehow or you know i mean some people they're just going to cut it and they'll blow through it if you know they're real assholes but this is going to be for i guess any honest people that come around you know but no it's, it's been a, it's been a few years i would say since i actually caught a trespasser and actually witnessed one too on top of that. I mean, I had one earlier, you know, oh, it's probably, what, a month now since my gaming cameras were stolen. Still never got them back, by the way. So, but that was the only trespasser we had up to this point. I mean, in the wintertime, we get snow catters and shit, but what are you going to do with them, you know? So, a little harder for me to stop snow catters unless I was down here with my own snow cat you know and then they actually seen me whizzing around down here then they would know that I'm down here so that's why I want to get a snow cat as well plus I think it would just be more fun to be out even in the winter time even though I hate winter but I think if you buy the proper gear and stuff you know you could be out for at least a good hour or two screwing around so but yeah, I don't know. Um, it was interesting, but to, I mean, I personally, to me, it's two women, you know, and they're older. So, I don't know, but nonetheless, I don't care if you're an old granny or, or a 12-year-old kid. You can't be down here, you know, and there, there's more to it then just you know i don't want people down here people damage my property and i can't have that and then the other thing is too is what it sounds like and i might be wrong about this but i guess i have to look it up but apparently if people are on my property and they get hurt they could actually like i could get into trouble too even though i have signs up and i'm telling people to say the hell off I could get into some trouble too because these people are for some reason they're you know they got hurt on my property and and you know I don't need that so but I don't know if that if that's true or not but it's the second time now I've, I've heard it so it must be true so that's just another reason why I don't want people coming down here because then I have to turn around and counters too. I, have to, I would have to hire a lawyer and be like, well, it's not my fault that they were down here. I have no trespassing signs. You've been warned, you know. There are there are some other places that want to put no trespassing signs, um, but I just haven't gotten around to it. You know, I, just, I can't do everything. So I think there needs to be another sign right along the dike here, you know, about halfway from where I am to where the other signs at by the bridge there needs to be another one along here somewhere um and same thing here there needs to be one well the other one i think could go right at the corner because that's where they like to jump off is right at the corner there so there really should be one there i've been wanting to put one there for quite a while um and then again when you go around the bend there should actually be another one halfway down you know so more signs the merrier but you got to remember too that, that that's a lot of signs that you have to maintain throughout the year you know because these signs don't last forever you would i think in order to do it the proper way you'd have to get the aluminum ones which i have some but i don't want to use them yet because i want to use up all my plastic ones 
I want to save those aluminum ones for at the end. And of course, I want to see how well they're actually going to do. If, they, if they're going to last me 10 years, that's great. I'll buy 50 million of them and, and put them up wherever I think I need to put them up. And I don't have to look at them for 10 years. I mean, I'll check them out every couple of months or so just to make sure they're not being, you know, screwed with. But they're a different sign. And I have a different style of mount. So I would have to drill a hole through my kind of mount. And then through the sign and then hang it with one bolt and then just crank the bolt really tight so then it can't sit there and rock. I mean, I guess you could do a double bolt and that would help it too. Well, well, looking at that mountain, I got one right here in front of me. No, I probably could do a double, you know, do, do two bolts. One at the top, one at the kind of at the bottom of that mount. The problem is it's still going to do this, but that's to be expected because it, it does it now too. Um... But whatever. So, but yeah. So that's what happened today. Is I caught trespassers, and I'm I'm surprised. And uh, but it sucks I didn't have my phone on me because there there's a certain way that I do stuff now which I'm not going to talk about on camera because I don't want people knowing. Um, but in order to do the way that I want to do it, I have to always have my phone on me so I can you know videotape it and or take pictures. So, but I didn't have my phone on me, so I couldn't do it that way. I had to, you know, just do it the normal way that you would do it. So, but what do you do? Well, you know, shit happens. I mean, it could have been an honest mistake on her end. You know, she just didn't see the sign, which uh, I don't know. You tell me if you would be able to see my sign or not. Um, the moon's orange. Or the sun's orange because uh, smoky as fuck. So we'll uh, I'll stand right here for you, right there. So you tell me you you can't see that from really, you know? That's just stupid. So what I what I was thinking is obviously damn mosquitoes um so obviously i have a sign here well i guess i have to put an end, another one here somewhere and then run a rope across it or a chain a chain would be even better yeah i think a logging chain would be way better because at least they couldn't cut it and i can actually lock it like i can make my own lock set up and lock it if i really wanted to get stupid i could uh since I have a welder, I could weld, I suppose, like some kind of a hook on the back side, hook my chain to that, and then I could just use like a padlock to lock it. That's what's on the gate, the redneck gate. I have a padlock for that, but it's not rated for outdoor use, so I have to wrap it in a bag just to keep the weather off of it, the best that I can anyway. So, but, and how often, I guess, are you going to get a, you know... Well, we get trespassers all the time, but it's just the last few, like, five years, it's been calm. You know, like, yeah, you get one trespasser a year, which is better than 50,000, like I did in past years. You can't even see that orange moon, or the orange sun, but what do you do? You know, but there's nothing I can do down there obviously i got a sign down there but i was thinking halfway down here i'd put a sign you know more signs i guess the merrier and then since i have one here i could put another one about halfway down and then one at the bend you know or even two at the bend one on each side and then another one another halfway down you know um but see, the thing is, too, is I have to maintain these stupid signs. I have to check up on them every couple of months. I mean, in, in the wintertime, they're, e they're even worse because the wind is much stronger. And if the signs are wore out, then they break easier. That's why I can't wait to try those aluminum ones. They're a little bit more money, but that's all right. If I get 10 years out of them, it's great. That would be fantastic. And they really shouldn't fade too much because they don't really get a lot, like this sign here, it doesn't really get a lot of sun time on it. 
but it's just enough though that this one's actually already starting to fade but i put this sign up back in oh it was just yeah probably about a week two weeks ago so yeah it's been a little over a year now and the signs are already starting to get weather weather cracked and birds are shitting on it so actually yeah i should replace this sign once a year is not acceptable for, for me either i don't want to have to re be replacing signs every year um so i think the aluminum ones might be better so i think guys i'm going to take off i just wanted to give you guys that little story that uh I had another trespasser, but this one I actually caught, and they were women, which was kind of surprising. I don't really ever catch women down here. It's usually kids or grown-ass men. Um, but I guess how you could miss my my big beautiful sign, I don't know. But I guess I mean if she wasn't paying attention, then I don't know. But you know, it's yellow and white. I'm not going to show the sign off because it's got my name written on it, but the thing that the sign's bolted to or screwed to, it's white. And then the sign's black and yellow. So do I have to put a, put a strobing light up here, you know, so it flashes 360 degrees and it gets your, gets your attention. Or I guess I should just run a fucking logging chain. Um, no, you can use, uh, well, actually, I think they're using um, steel cable, which is even better. Chain or, st or log, or, yeah, chain or cable. Those are your best options. I feel like chain would be better because they can't cut it. It'd be harder to cut than rope or the, the cable. But if the cable's thick enough, I guess they ain't going to cut it. So, but I guess I don't know. I might have to put a, put a post here, I guess and run run a rope across it's going to be a huge inconvenience for me because every time i want to come down here i'm going to have to get out of the blazer and unlock it because it's going to have to stay locked at night i mean yeah they can go around it don't get me wrong this is just more or less for the honest people so they actually fucking see it and i feel like if you know people are they use that all the time well i didn't see it i didn't see it you can't not see the sign so if I put a fucking rope here and I get rid of this sign, but just use the post and then hang two of them here, there's no way you're missing that. And, and what if I paint that cable um, like a lime green color or a red, you know, something, something that stands out, right? You're not going to not see it then. Yes, they can go around it, but the thing is I can take all that for evidence and if I catch them, and if it's like another the same person from before, then I have more evidence, and then I can actually take this to the cops and be like, "Well, here is the proof, and here here's the person that that did it." So, you know, that's just how it goes. But, but yeah, I think running running a cable across here, or even a logging chain, I think is going to be my next choice. I think. More or less just for the honest, even though I can't really do much down there. And I can't put signs along the edge of a property by the bridge. Because that would not, we would not be able to cut that right. And we would like to be able to cut that, you know, cleanly. So, you know, I can't do that. There's already two signs on this end. There's nothing in the middle, obviously, but I, I shouldn't have to do that. So, you know. That would probably be another cheap choice too. Like I suppose if I wanted to stop trespassing 100% is get those big U-channel bars that have the holes in it and string up cables and then just cable it off. It's going to still be expensive, but it would probably be cheaper than running barbed wire. And at least, you know, you could leave some flexibility in the, in the cable. And if a log hits it, well, then it could just kind of pick up a little bit and throw the cable out. So... You know, or throw the log out so i don't know <clears throat> but anyways guys i'm going to take off i just wanted to show you guys that and uh i guess i'm going to have to come up with a plan for this i guess at some point um not that's gonna you know i just i don't think it's gonna work because if you can't see the one fucking sign you never i don't know if you're gonna be able to even see a goddamn rope full of them so 
I don't know. I'm gonna have to think of something, I guess. So, but anyways, guys, I'm gonna take off. So I guess I have a good day and stuff and stuff. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Take her easy.